the industrial revolution hit and we saw a success model there were in the industrial uh, revolution success model as i would term it and what happened was we had assembly lines assembly lines of things which were being made so it could be gears it could be cars it could be machines it could be parts of machines again so what would happen is there'll be this big conveyor belt and everyone will do their part of putting things on the conveyor belt an example would be a car is coming in the body would be there doors would be added by the next person the top painting could be done by another set of people so on and so forth by the end of the conveyor you have a very beautiful mint new car so this is the model which was again successful and it was really looked at now uh, we started applying this model to everything that we knew which also includes education we have this mass industrial conveyor belt of education that we have today wherein like grade by grade we add on knowledge and the conveyor moves on do we really know about how the child is as a child uh, do we really know what is the emotional quotient of a child every child is unique do we have a system which identifies a child and blooms or nourishes the child this is a question which we don't need to answer but we need to ponder